Namo Dita Good morning. Thank you for joining me for our daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The third mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by sexual misconduct, I vow to cultivate responsibility and learn ways to protect the safety and integrity of individuals, couples, families, and society. I am determined not to engage in sexual relations without love and a long-term commitment. To preserve the happiness of myself and others, I am determined to respect my commitments and my, the commitments of others. I will do everything in my power to protect children from sexual abuse and to prevent couples and families from being broken by sexual misconduct. We're reading Ajahn Chah's book, Bodhiyana, a collection of Dhamma talks, and ready to begin uh, the Dhamma talk, A Gift of Dhamma. I'm happy you've taken this opportunity to come and visit Wat Nang Papang and see your son, who is a monk here. However, I'm sorry I have no gift to offer you. France already has so many material things, but of Dhamma, there's very little. Having been there and seen for myself, there isn't really any Dhamma there which could lead to peace and tranquility. There are only things which continually make one's minds confused and troubled. France is already materially prosperous. It has so many things to offer which are sensually enticing. Sights, sounds, smells, tastes, and textures. However, people ignorant of Dhamma only become confused by them. So today I will offer you some Dhamma to take back to France as a gift from Wat Nang Pa Pong and Wat Pa Nanachat. What is Dhamma? Dhamma is that which can cut through the problems and difficulties of mankind, gradually reducing them to nothing. That's what is called Dhamma, and that's what should be studied throughout our daily lives, so that when some mental impression arises in us, we will be able to deal with it and go beyond it. Problems are common to us all, whether living here in Thailand or in other countries. If we don't know how to solve them, we'll always be subject to suffering and distress. That which solves problems is wisdom, and to have wisdom we must develop and train the mind. The subject of practice isn't far away at all. It's right here in our body and mind. Westerners and Thais are the same. They both have a body and mind. A confused body and mind means a confused person, and a peaceful body and mind, a peaceful person. Actually, the mind, like rainwater, is pure in its natural state. If we were to drop green coloring into clear rainwater, however, it would turn green. If yellow coloring, it would turn yellow. The mind reacts similarly. When a comfortable mental impression drops into the mind, the mind is comfortable. When the mental impression is uncomfortable, the mind is uncomfortable. The mind becomes cloudy, just like the colored water. When clear water contacts yellow, it turns yellow. When it contacts green, it turns green. It will change color every time. Actually, that water which is green or yellow is naturally clean and clear. This is also the state, natural state of the mind, clean and pure and unconfused. It becomes confused only because it pursues mental impressions. It gets lost in its moods. May all beings be well, may all beings be happy, may all beings be peaceful. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you for joining me this morning.